Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this one, we're gonna talk about how do we use Unreal Engine to test and deploy a uh, an LS uh, game on an iPad. Uh, and of course, this will also work on an on an iPhone because they're basically the same thing. It just iPad is bigger, right? And uh, some prerequisite, of course, uh, you need Unreal Engine up and running. Uh, I'm using uh, version four point twenty six point zero. Okay. Uh, you can choose a different in engine version, but just be aware that uh, every uh, di different version of the engine requires a different version of Xcode. And yes, you need Xcode to be up and running also on your Mac. And of course, you need a Mac to make this work. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if you can use a virtual machine to run a Mac system, Mac OS. I'm not sure, but you, uh, it's it's gonna be much easier if if you do have a Mac to to work things out. Okay, alrighty. So you need uh in that in my case right uh version four point twenty six, uh will need Xcode version twelve point two. Uh you can search for those release notes for Unreal Engine, and look for the corresponding Xcode version for that particular release release. Uh they will mention that so you get the correct version, uh for Xcode as well. Okay, I'm not gonna go to the nitty gritty on how to install those things. That's that's, that's very basic stuff for uh, for Unreal Engine or basically any development. Um, but one thing one thing you do need for Unreal to work uh, properly is this thing we call Mono Framework. Go ahead and search search that in Google search, and go for this one Mono Project, and go ahead and download it here. After downloading, you'll get this thing. I click on it and install it. This should be a pretty quick process. I have it done already, so I'm not going to show you that. Just go ahead and do it. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, one thing also that's worth mentioning if, is that uh, with the newer newer versions of um, a MacBook or Mac system, right? They have this this Apple Silicon thingy M1, right? So this CPU is a very different architecture. So your stuff will not work smoothly. Uh, so what you have to do, uh, if they don't really run, sometimes they got like you know not responding when you're installing them or when you're running them, like the the Epic Game Launcher. Sometimes it just freezes when you try to launch it. Uh, when that happens, you just force quit and then restart it. Also, if this is the first time you're trying to get Unreal Engine run the first time, it will take a lot of time to compile. You'll be stuck in on certain percentage for a while, like 14, 18, 75, something like that, like that. You got stuck on that particular percentage for a while, but just don't crash, don't quit it. It's just gonna, be, I think it's it's doing something on the background, maybe maybe porting itself, translating itself into the, uh, the binaries that, you know, this architecture is able to, to somehow run. I don't, I don't know how this actually works, uh, but it, it's working on it, right? Give it, an hour or so for it to sort out and after that when the engine eventually launches let me launch that now okay uh, i have already went through that stage so mine should be okay <laughs> should be okay but you can see it's it, yeah it's popping out it's popping out and you'll be stacking on some percentage here for a while if this is the first time you're running it but just don't cl don't close it go ahead and do something else right come back and that's this will will eventually finish uh, and also when you're installing Xcode, Xcode will take forever forever to install so you will have to wait for that as well actually this this is taking longer than I thought as well <laughs> in here so yeah I think it's just the maybe the new architecture uh, is too new that the engine is not optimized or properly ported to this, this is they all went through a uh, translation layer they call Rosita or something I think that's that's how this works anyway so you you wait much longer than me when you're uh, when you, this, if that's the, this is the first time you're opening it and when you're in this this UI you also see compiling shaders for something around 4,000 shaders you will have to wait for another 20 minutes or so for that compilation to finish okay Alrighty, and then you can start building, uh, creating your project. I'm going to go for a game, of course, next, right? Uh, let's try third person, and next. Okay, now here, um, 
I think it, it doesn't matter what what uh, platform you're going to go for, but I believe you have to eventually have a C++ code in there to get it up and running uh, with Xcode. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Let's maybe start with Blueprint. Uh, everything else can be fun. Maybe we can change that to mobile because I know that I'm doing iOS, but this is all changed. Uh, this is not setting it to something that cannot be changed in the future. Uh, so even, uh, even your project is desktop when you are studying. Uh, before, uh, before you can still change it uh, in, the, in the project setting. So that actually is not really something set into stone when you set it here. Uh, I'm gonna go for mobile though. Um, all right, and I, just, I believe that's it. I'm gonna call this guy a uh, third person template test. Third person template, maybe iOS, not iOS, so <laughs> iOS. Alrighty, and then we're gonna go create project. Okay, that will run the engine uh, and again build the whole project and open the, the editor. Uh, this time it's pretty fast. Let me drag it over, but you can see, well, the viewport does not look right. <laughs> I think it's, this is showing you a different buffer. I, I don't know, it's, uh, maybe it's, it's the word coordinate or something based on the camera location. It's just not rendered properly. Okay, so what I have to do uh, to really make it look good is to change the, the viewing mode from uh, the shader, if you go to the settings, change the preview preview rendering level from shader model 5 because I, I think I think uh, I think Apple just dropped everything here they don't support those things anymore they dropped OpenGL they, they went for their own thing called metal so of course none of those things will work with shader model 5 however we can switch to iOS right so I'm gonna go click on that of course, this will take also a lot of time to compile for the shaders to be compiled to the iOS Metal Metal API. So again, you you go here and you wait for quite a long time before this is uh, this is all converted. Okay. So let me also pause the video, pause the video, and then when this is all finished, then we can come back and we can keep on going from here. All right. See you in a bit. Alright, guys. So finally. <laughs> Everything is compiled now. We're we're previewing metal. Uh, okay, so now what we're gonna do is to try to get this thing ported. Um, so we're gonna do some trick here to make it work. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Xcode project. Okay, I'm gonna choose iOS and GIMP and the next. Okay, now product name will be. It's probably better to be the same name as your GIMP project which makes things easier, but we can name it whatever. Uh, but let's just say testing out as game, but make this the name of your uh, Unreal Engine project to make things easier. Okay, now we don't have an account, so we need to add an account and use your Apple ID, right? So I have one here. Oh. Okay. Uh, right, so get the, oh. Tap that <laughs> So should be right. So uh, you add that, right? And then here uh, with this added, you need to go to the manage certificates. Okay, I have something here already. Just add a new one if you don't have. But I have something here already. <laughs> here already. But let me just add one more. <laughs> oh. All right, so yeah, that, that, that's fine. I'm just gonna use whatever I have. Yours should be empty if you don't have anything there. And that should be it. I'm gonna go ahead and close this now and I can choose the team here, personal team. This is not a paid development, uh, development account, so it's all free. Um, okay, and organizer identifier, we can say com and then your uh, company name, my awesome studio, but you, you can type in your studio name if you have one. And then the name of the project, test, oh, so which is this, right? Okay. I believe we don't need anything, <laughs> right? This is the just put it anywhere. I'm gonna put it into documents. And I'm gonna create a new folder and call it dev, and then create. All right. 
Uh, it was supplied by the version control system. Let's fix that. Uh, I guess we don't really need Git. Let's not worry about that. I'm gonna close it. Okay. Alrighty. So something that's important in here is the bundle identifier. That has to be uh, the same in your project. So we'll have to change that later. But let's try if we can port this thing uh, to the iPad. So. Uh, we need that Apple device. So I do have an iPad hooked up to my computer. Uh, just do the same thing. If you have if you have an iPhone, just connect it using your USB cable, and you should be able to see it in here. Right, that's my iPad here. Okay, choose that, and then we can click on the play button. That will try to port it, and it's going to ask you for your logging in account. That's your logging in account, not your Apple Apple ID account. Okay, okay, go ahead and let it go. Okay, it's gonna install it, and it's gonna be running on it. It may give you a warning that it doesn't really uh, launch. This is because your iPad is blocking it. So you just hit OK, right? And then you will to switch to your iPad. Okay, I'm gonna switch to to my iPad now. Turn on recording. All right, so now I'm on my iPad. Okay, and let's see. We just need to go to uh, the settings here. And look for general, and then underneath VPN you have this device management. Go there, click on that, and hit trust, and hit trust. Right, that's gonna allow you to to do it. You can see now our game is listed here as test ls game. Right now we can go look for it, and we can click on it to open it. You can see it, it says hello world. <laughs> you can do something here, right? Anyway, so that's gonna basically uh, the the testing we can do with it. Uh, when once this is all good, then we can go back and start to y utilize this kind of like a fake, <laughs> a fake uh, or temporary uh, developer profile, and use that on our project. So I'm gonna quit uh, the app right now. Can okay, stop recording in here. Alrighty. So with that being uh, tested. Now what we can do is we can go copy this. You have to copy this. Okay. All right. And then we we'll need to. We don't need to have this thing anymore. So I'm gonna let's minimize that. Okay. Now back here to our project, we go for edit. Uh, actually, go to the Unreal project. We go for file, <coughs> edit, project settings, and then we'll go for the iOS section. Okay. Now you can see there's nothing here. There's something that they're not they're not matched. So what you have to do is to somehow make it match. And the way you make it match is you paste in the same bundle identifier here to make it work. Paste that in, Unreal will do some research, and eventually you'll see a valid one in here. If you see both on the provision and certificate to have a valid option, then you're fine. But don't check them because Unreal have an option for you to to do that uh, to do that for you automatically. So you scroll down to the uh, to the uh, bottom, you'll see there's a build section. Check on automatic signing. Okay. Then you have to tell it what the team ID is. So so you have to figure out your team ID, right? So what you have to do is go to Xcode. Okay. <laughs> and then you need to grab this guy. Your uh, this guy here. And you right click and show in Fender. That will open Fender here. And you right click and show package content. And inside of it, you have this guy here project file, open it. Okay. Now in here, you press Command F to find. And then you find team ID, development team. Sorry, just search for team and you'll see this development team. You need to copy that. Let me. Uh, Press Command C to copy that. That's your team ID. I'm gonna go close this now and get this down there. And then we'll go back here and paste that team ID in here. Okay, that's that's important. Otherwise, it's gonna complaining about like I'm trying to send this for you, but I don't know your ID, your ID name. Uh, we hacked it by creating a project from Xcode, and in the file there is the team ID for you, right? Uh, so that's that, and then we can try to start building it. Okay, so I'm gonna go close that, and I'm also gonna go for the window, developer tools, and then output log. 
pull that pull that up and clear the log here uh, we can start with a clean logging and we can go ahead and build it uh, so it'll be underneath file package project and then ios okay it's going to pull up a place for you to do it uh, so i'm going to go to the uh, unreal projects right click here and uh, actually I, I can't do that let me just click on the new folder and say uh, publish okay instead of it uh, just click on the folder and hit open and Unreal will start to build it. Okay, and this again will take quite some time So I'm gonna pause the video until something uh, pop, Pops up that needs our action. Okay, I'll see you in a bit All right, so finally uh, you will see this thing pops up which asks you about your login and password So this to be your login password not the Apple ID password the login password for this computer All right, just tap that in and then allow that okay then this is gonna go wrap this up and package everything together as you can see it's just done immediately <laughs> in my case okay um, so that should be all there is for you to build the app from uh, unreal engine and then you can go to the folder uh, it's gonna be in document i believe i put it in the unreal projects publish ios and that's that's your ipa right to install it on your iPad or iOS device, you have to go to Xcode and look for Window, Devices and Simulators, and then you can see that's the iPad. <laughs> okay. So what you do is you click on the plus sign and grab that. Okay. You can also just drag it over. I think you can drag it over to here. Right. So now install it. I just have to wait for this process to finish and then this app should now appear on your iPad okay and that's all there is right we <clears throat> just need to get the signing process work I think that's the only tricky part uh, for Unreal to work properly or anything actually to work properly uh, with an iOS device you can see now this is now on the device so I'm going to switch to the iPad now Okay, and turn on recording. Alrighty, <clears throat> so what we do here is just look for that for that app. Actually, that's gonna be the last one. You can click on it. On trusted developer, that's fine. We just go ahead and go to the uh, general settings again, and then we look for device management. Go there and click on that and trust it. And then we can go ahead and open it. All right. So you, now you can see we have the entire engine now, entire game now working inside uh, on the iPad, right? And everything looks fun. Uh, I will say though, I see some performance hit with it. So I'm not sure if that's because some of the settings are on, but that's some nitty gritty things about how to get uh, your project work smoothly. With this new metal api and you know stuff but you can see it's able to cast shadows which is amazing <laughs> right and also you can see some aliasing issues so i guess the anti-aliasing is something you may want to sort out how that works uh, but nonetheless right we're able to build it all that left for us to do is to go ahead and figure out uh, you know how how to get it work better right okay so that's it for this video uh, maybe we can also talk about c plus plus but for having a project up and running, this is all you have to do. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.